Hello everyone, uh, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can update a field in Soho CRM from one module into another. So the first step is you go to the setup and then you're going to click on automation and you have to have the enterprise edition because um, you do need a custom function. So I'm going to configure a custom function and I'm gonna write my own and then I'm gonna say update industry I wanna update the on the industry field from uh, accounts into potentials so the script is gonna run for every time that I create edit a potential and I'm gonna drag it into uh, or from the accounts module. So uh, get industry value from accounts and update potent corresponding uh, potential. Perfect. So that's the name of the function. Um, the first thing that we need to do is edit the arguments. So we click on edit the arguments here and you can name uh, the method uh, let's say potentials so we're gonna grab the potential ID so that we can grab the record um, that we need we can also do it um, from here you know we can grab the industry value we can grab it not from potentials but from account information which should have the industry value as you can see here so this is key you know in in the value section you can grab fields from different modules in CRM so this is the, the great flexibility that you have uh, when handling this information so you click OK and now we're going to write a function. So the first thing that you need to do is we're going to get a CRM function with the integration tasks. And we're going to get it by ID because we do have the ID in the module potentials, right? And we're going to use the potential ID to grab it. And we can name it potential CRM or anything you want could be pot CRM the name of the response variable can be anything you want let's save it um, just so that we don't lose it and then um, what we're gonna do now that you have this record here you know what actually we don't need this because we're not getting any data I think we only need the update function uh, let me see, we only need Soho CRM update record in potentials. Yeah, this is it. And we're going to update uh, the ID of this potentials is going to be potential ID, which we already have. And then the map is going to be industry and we're gonna use the industry that we saved uh, on the string to map it perfect yeah this this is all we need to do and then we can call it uh pot update or whatever you want so we don't really need this i'm gonna delete it we save this to execute and mismatch okay so when this happens uh, you just have to make sure that your potential ID, if you notice, uh, let me go back, uh, potential ID is an integer here. There are some functions in CRM, like update, that require your ID to be passed as a string, not as an integer. So all you need to do is add the two string to the ID, and that's it. We have, um, we have a match. So let's test uh, the record. Uh, if you notice, we need 
a potential ID and an industry value, which can be anything. So I'm gonna go to potentials. I'm gonna grab this record here. And then as you can see, industry is empty. So I'm just gonna grab the ID of this potential just to test the function. I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna use that ID and then I'm gonna type industry real estate. I'm gonna click submit, execute it successfully. So if that was true, when we come back to the potential and update the value, you can see that real estate has been updated automatically. So this is how you create a function uh, to update your records from one module into another in, in CRM. The next step is obviously is you create your rule and then all you need to do is create a rule and you're gonna select the potential module and we're gonna say update industry value. You can type in the description here, updates industry value from accounts into potentials. You select your trigger, which is on a record action. In this case, you want to either, when it's created or edit, you want to make sure that your workflow executes only for the first time or whenever the criteria is met. I recommend to use whenever the criteria is met so that if you ever change the value in the accounts module, you always get the update back in the potentials. So if there is a, if there is a restriction, you can say, for example, that I would like... Um, you know, since we're working with the potentials, you can say run it every time that industry field is empty. So if it's empty, then you need to check um, for a value. Well, actually, is that's not going to work because then it will only run it for one time. So no, we don't want any any criteria. We want to run every time. So. We click that and then the action is called the custom function. So you're going to click on this folder to grab the ones that are available for you and you're going to go and get the update industry and associate it with it. And then you just click save. And then that's it. Your rule has been configured, update industry value, and it's going to run every time um, an update occurs. Well, I hope this helped. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, keep checking us out, creatorscripts.com, the best uh, Zoho and CRM uh, hacks on the net. Thank you.